All right, the world famous, world renowned, one gotta go. Hopefully this week you are full of shit, Jason. <laughs> First off, we haven't had sixteen one gotta goes for you to do sixteen. Times. <laughs> so you're already lying right there. And second off, I don't. That's at WWE, Cowan. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this week we get some more disagreement than what we have. We've had clean sweeps two weeks in a row here, which hasn't generated a whole lot of buzz as far as the one got to go topic. So I don't know what we got planned for today's episode, but um, let's let's get into it because I'm, I'm ready to tell you that Jeans were wrong and I was right. <laughs> so with the draft being this weekend, I thought we'd go into football movies. You are the list is already wrong. <laughs> I, uh, so we got Remember the Titans, The Replacements, Any Given Sunday, and The Water Boy. This is not gonna be the only football list we're gonna have. There's gonna be a lot more. I start going Steve, after you found that list the other day of sports movies. Yeah, um, that was completely trash that ESPN put out. Like Yeah. There's I think I got like I started like going through sports movies. There's going to be we could have a whole series of this the rest of the summer. Uh, oh, <laughs> football alone. <laughs> yeah, football alone. I don't know. I mean, these none of these are um, none of these are really similar. I mean, I guess you can say the replacements and the water boy are similar from a comedic standpoint. Be, yeah. um, any given Sunday is not as dramatic as Remember the Titans. Um, so. I don't know, genre-wise, they're not all the same. Um, I guess it's just really personal preference as far as this one goes, as far as which one you would want to see off the list. Um, uh, I don't know, man. I really don't. like. I guess I'll go with the water boy. Uh, I'll get rid of the water boy from this list. Um and that's only because I give a slight edge to Willie Beeman instead of, you know, the water boy himself. Um, I just think the water boy, as far as like the Adam Sandler movies that were hot at that time, it, it's not as good as, you know, Billy Madison or Happy Gilmore. And, and that I know it's it's on that same similar basis, but uh, I'll go with the water boy off the list for me. Remember the Titans is staying on every list. Across the board, sports, football, movies in general. Uh, love the replacements. I think I can remember more of any given Sunday than the Water Boy, and I'm kind of I kind of have Adam Sandler fatigue, so Water Boy's going off the list. Bobby Boucher, sorry. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Boucher. <laughs> mama, mama said your answer is wrong, Donald. So whatever one you give, Mama said it was wrong. I'll go next. We'll go down the line. Um, remember the Titans? Yeah. Out of any of these movies, I've I've seen all of them, watched multiple times. Um, the ones I probably watched the most are Remember the Titans, The Replacements, and Waterboy. And just for that reason alone, I'm going to take any given Sunday off the list. Any given Sunday, fun, fun before, Donald, before you give your take, f funny, uh, what, not funny, but one-off story about any given Sunday. So I took a, I took a debate course in class in, in college. Um, and one of the, one of the assignments, you know, leading up to the, to the debate at the end of the semester was, uh, we had to give a speech. Um, it had to be a one to one or two minute speech from any movie that that we wanted to to do um and i i picked al pacino's locker room speech from any given sunday <laughs> and got up there and, and and rattled that off um so yeah that was my my any given sunday story but that i mean that that movie's most memorable for for willie beeman and then that, that pacino speech in the locker room at, at halftime you know uh Remember the Titans is not going anywhere. Just like Jason said, that is actually my number two movie of all time. I don't care what anybody say. If you don't like it, kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Coming uh, on for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any given Sunday, I'm not all about the pro stuff, law like that, but the, the drama in the movie made it so good. So that's staying. Replacements and Waterboy, they are two comedy movies. I've seen them both. 
The Water Boy has stupid humor. The movie's overrated. I'm tired of Adam Adam Sandler. Water Boy gotta go. I hate that movie. I know you want to go off Shane Footstep Falco. Mm-hmm. Nah. <laughs> or Clifford Franklin. The replace, I mean, the replacements have more drama than the Water Boy. Oh, lay, oh, lay, oh, lay, oh, lay, oh, lay, oh, lay. I mean, the replacements uh, probably on YouTube or uh, USA right now. Oh, yeah, replacements. Re- replacements is, is that movie that like when it when it's a rainy Saturday Sunday day in September you can just you know turn on TNT and and lay on the couch yeah. watch replacements you know doze off for 30 40 minutes wake up and the movie's still on and you can pick right back up where it was <laughs> exactly <laughs> I like the deaf tight end in there and I like the uh the prison guy That's my <laughs> 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 uh, yeah uh, yeah yeah uh, you got to be thinking of more movies. That there's just so many. Yeah. That that list ESPN put out for sports movies. Was oh, that was trash. trash. That was trash. And it was it was what's the greatest sports movie of all time? And it was. But I think they just put this is my page of every <laughs> shit I just started right now. That's why all football movies. Well, football movies didn't go so many different ways. So yeah. many football and baseball. I got I got probably as many baseballs I do football on that one. Yeah, I, I you know you gotta you gotta you gotta break it you gotta break it down in, in the in the categories and that because you know like I said with those four there it was like you can't really compare them because they're all you know they're different. Remember the Titans? Like you said, that's, I was doing family. I was doing kids. I was doing uh, comedies. I was doing serious. You know, like there's so many movies. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. We're not putting Airbud on any guy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go to the Airbud movies. <laughs> yeah, all one, two, three, and four can all go for Airbud. They shouldn't even never have made them damn movies. All right, uh, that's it for one. Gotta go. Reach out to us on social media. Let us know which ones you let, let us know which one you kick off the list there. Um, pretty pretty standard, I, I think. Um, you know, most people all We'll probably go water boy or replacements given that list is is what my initial take would be looking at it. So and don't forget to buy the one gotta go t shirt on prowrestlingtees.com slash dumbmarks pod. Where you can vote out which dumb mark you want to see go and it would be the one right below me. Oh no. <laughs> hey everybody just mad because the truth hurts people. That's all what it is. That's all they hate. <laughs> Jason, your your sixteen time OGG champion right there is like Woody Page from Around the Horn, saying he has 100, 196 Around the Horn titles. That's what you want. Well, that's that. Well, come on, next week and it'll be like Goldberg Goldberg Streak. You'll be up to ninety five and up. Or it'll be the EC three that will uh, four hundred eighty two and O Streak. You know? You'll never know. Tune in next week. <laughs> All right, get into final thoughts. Wrap up this week's show. <laughs>